coverage of the horrific July 4th shooting in Highland Park, Illinois, is everywhere, and understandably so. But there is another story that is maybe equally important that isn't getting nearly as much coverage. No interviews with the heartbroken victims' families. No dissections of the evil perpetrator's social media accounts or mental state. No, this is the story of a July 4th mass shooting that didn't happen, that was thwarted because of an alert citizen and good police work. The sort of story I often say deserves more coverage because of all the lives that were likely saved, because someone spoke up. It happened in Richmond, Virginia, and today Richmond Police Chief Gerald Smith explained exactly how it all happened. A subject who I am referring to as a hero citizen picked up the phone, overheard a conversation that there was a mass shooting being planned here in the Richmond of Virginia at our 4th of July celebration at the Dale. That citizen picked up the phone and called our brave men and women at the 2nd Precinct. Those men and women of the 2nd Precinct began an investigation along with Homeland Security and our special investigations team. See something, say something. The citizen did it, and the police quickly responded. Once inside that residence, they saw evidence in plain view that collaborated the hero witness's step statement that there was a concern. The investigation continued. They seized two assault rifles, one handgun, and 223 rounds of ammunition. The police chief made clear this wasn't just speculative either broad outlines that they were planning to actually shoot up our 4th of July celebration. We know their intent. Their intent was to conduct a mass shooting at our 4th of July celebration. We do not know what their motive was. But we need to appreciate these moments. The success of this particular investigation can only be juxtaposed against the horrors in which the rest of the country has seen. There is no telling how many lives this hero citizen made. I mean, how, how many lives this hero citizen saved from one phone call? As the chief said there, police recovered two rifles, handgun, cash a magazine, several hundred rounds of ammo. So now we don't have to hear from broken families there. Grandparents, moms, dads, kids were able to celebrate July 4th with hot dogs and fireworks and probably didn't even know that this happened. Just an alert citizen and some great police work. That is the very definition of what July 4th ought to symbolize. Fighting for our freedom, citizens joining with law enforcement to ward off evil. Just as it should be. Joining us now is the police chief you saw there, Gerald Smith. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Appreciate it, chief. Let's start at the beginning. You guys get a phone call. You know, you get a lot of crank calls, I'm sure, as well, from people saying, I hear this, I heard that. How did you guys know this was serious when you got the call? I believe it's because of just good police work that you were mentioning. I believe that uh, alert officers knowing exactly what was taking place across the country at mass shootings. This phone call came in and they paid attention to it. They took copious notes and details and started an investigation. I think it's just a combination of just good police work and just being alert of what kind of conditions we're living under in the country when it comes down to mass shootings. Can you tell me anything about the citizen um, and, and what the person heard? Uh, don't want to give out too many details. I need to protect the integrity of the investigation as it goes forth and goes through the court. But I can tell you that this person is a hero because what they heard gave them great concern. And they actually pick up the phone, found the number through our second precinct, because if you look up numbers for police departments, there are probably several. But they knew which one to call. They did some research, and they called, and they talked to the officers there. And the officers took that investigation and ran with it. And now we're sitting on, a, on some success just because of that one phone call. I'm referring to that caller as a hero citizen. Tell us about the event uh, where they were planning to do this. The Dogwood Dale. It is an event where we traditionally held, hold our 4th of July celebrations, our fireworks celebrations. It is something, uh, a location that has uh, been used sparingly because of COVID in the last couple of years. So this is the first time that we were getting back to a condition of normal with the celebration. So it is a location that Richmond citizens are very used to coming together and joining and being able to sit out with their families and enjoy the 4th of July celebration and the fireworks. It is, um, it is a, is a great location for us to come together and to actually be just 
citizens of Richmond. Yeah, and, and I'll, was I right in saying that citizens didn't even know that you guys had done this when they were out there on July 4th? That's correct. Yeah. Um, our officers, we had a robust plan. We had a great deal of our officers who were working away from their own families. That was a sacrifice that they make a lot. Yep. And these officers were out there taking, being very care, uh, mindful of what could happen and on the lookout for what we could do and also following around those who needed to be watched. So, yes, our officers are made some sacrifices for the yep. fourth in order that everyone else could enjoy the, the celebration. Tell us about the suspects. Who are they and what have they been charged with now? Uh, they both have been charged with uh, being non American citizens and being in possession of a weapon. They are uh, lived here in Richmond uh, and the 3000 block of Columbia Avenue. And they came to our attention. They were not on our radar in any shape or form. They were brought to our attention because of this citizen and the comments that they made. And we looked into them and we are looking into anything else in their background right now. We are uh, exploiting our, our relationships with our federal partners to make sure that they have no other connection with anything else going on in the area. Were they in the country legally? Uh, I will not say if they were in the country legally or illegally, but we do know that they were not American citizens. Hmm. And were they, I bet they were pretty surprised when you guys showed up. Uh, I would say that they were. Yeah. <laughs> um, and probably very surprised that they knew that uh, we were watching them kind of closely a great deal. So, yes. Chief Smith, it's an important day. Um, and I've said this before, uh, when citizens do the right thing, when police do the right thing, when we're able to stop something like this, it is so important that we talk about it so we encourage more citizens to come forward. We encourage citizens to do the right thing. This is the way we can truly stop mass shootings. I mean, I'm not suggesting that, that uh, any other solutions that people are suggesting are right or wrong. This is a guaranteed way to do it when citizens speak up and a police department like yours responds. Yes, this partnership has a history of working. We know that it works, that when we partner with the community and the community talks to us and we talk to them, that information is passed by and it improves the quality of life and it helps to reduce crime. That's exactly the partnership that we need in this country, not only in Richmond, but across the entire country right now. Chief, what a relief. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. More than happy. Thank you for having me on, Dan. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.